Welcome to another fly tying session. Uh, today I'd like to show you a foam wing hopper. It's a fly that I developed about five, six years ago and it's proven very successful on most of the still waters in South Africa. It's a hopper imitation. For those who enjoy fishing terrestrials, I love fishing terrestrials, this is definitely a fly that you should try. Now, it's a, it's a fairly simple fly to tie. And I'm going to show you what um, what we use as well. I tie it on a grip 14582. There are various wings available for different size hoppers from size 8 to 10 and they match the 14582 hooks in their respective sizes. You can also tie it on the grip 14503. The only difference is that it's got a bent down eye. Uh, so you start by covering the hook shank I'm going to use a honey color, of course I'm tying a brown one, I'm going to use a honey color trilobal dubbing to cover the abdomen and the abdomen is a very thin abdomen if you look at hoppers normally they have quite a thick abdomen but if you look at the wing shape the, the wing shape carry the profile of the fly if you look at it from underneath and the abdomen is there to just break the surface and show something underneath the surface or in the surface film. I quite enjoy fishing uh, uh, emerges as well. And uh, what I try to do here is to create a hopper that's that will sit a little bit in the surface film and not on top of the surface film. And that is what what this hopper is all about. So you cover the abdomen. You just use the normal roll on dubbing technique. I'll put links into the various techniques that I'm using in this fly. You want a fairly smooth finish in the in the abdomen. So we use a, a roll-on technique and uh, there's also CDC in the fly. I'm using on this fly I'm using a brown size 6.0 grip thread which is a continuous filament thread that's not twisted so it's easy to to do a split thread with us and that is something a technique that we are going to be using build up a abdomen with fine trilobal dubbing the um, areas where I fish it is on Starkfontein Dam in South Africa it's a very popular yellowfish fishery with crystal clear water and fish coming up to to dry flies. We, we generally fish it with dry flies although I do enjoy fishing it with very small micro patterns as well. Still sight fishing to those fish even though we use little micro patterns, nymphs and those, those sort of things. Uh, but it is great fun fishing them on hoppers. Now if I carry on with this abdomen I need to take a wing out. There's some specific markings on these wings that will indicate the the, the, the proportions of the abdomen and, and pretty much everything else. So on the on the wing you'll see two lines. And those two lines, oh, this is the wing side, this will form part of the head. And you need to keep a bare hook between those two lines on the abdomen. So I've gone a little bit too far on that. I'm going to take a little bit of that dubbing off. That's good over there. So the line in the front will be tied down right behind the eye of the hook and the one at the back will be tied down in front of the abdomen. Just going to instead of taking dubbing off, just going to do that. And that's it. Now the uh, what I do before I tie the foam wing in, I tie two CDC feathers in on top of the hook. This just helps to keep that water a little bit away from the from the foam wing. And let the CDC stick past the the abdomen or the bend of the hook. Just 
just like that. From those ends and leave that there. Now you come back to the base of the abdomen and we're going to tie the, the wing in. Wing is on top of the hook, lines to the top, make sure the front uh, line is behind the eye of the hook and you tie that in right there. This is one of the reasons why I use a 60 thread and not an 80 or, or anything else um, because to tie this foam in you need to pull on that foam to secure it on the on the hook and make open wraps to the front and then secure it behind the eye of the hook right there go back and now we're going to tie in some antron yarn now uh, the antron yarn is just to add that underwing of a hopper, the shiny underwing. I'm using a grip and antron yarn. Just a single strand, you don't need to tie a double strand in. Oops. Single piece. Put that on top of the hook. And tie that in on top of the hook. And allow it to spread out a little bit. And it's just to add that little bit of shiny underwing, indicate that, uh, that excess you can cut off. And that is pretty much it on the underwing. Now the last part of the wing, and the wing is the most complicated or uh, thing that takes the most time on this fly. The rest is pretty easy in, in some point. Uh, Get a hackle stacker, prepare some deer hair, a deer hair wing like uh, with a nice natural deer hair on the on the brown. You can use uh, they, these wings are available in in various colours, but um, I prefer the size 10 brown. That's my my favourite. Unless I fish darker water um, or darker skies, then I I quite enjoy fishing the black. I find that more successful. Put the deer hair wing on top tips the end sticking just past the foam and tie that on top of the foam right there before you let everything go cut those ends don't cut them too short you need to use some of that to fill in in that area of the foam where you tied it in to create the head so you need something to fill in there otherwise you're going to be using a lot of dubbing tie that in right there go back a little bit Right there, and now we're going to tie in the legs. The legs are just standard silly legs, also a grip product. I'm going to use orange in this fly and tie them in the same length as the foam component, the entire foam component. You can always cut them a little bit later. Some guys, I've seen some guys use a uh, pheasant tail tied with a knot. Um, I've seen various types of legs being tied in these. You can, you can really play around with this fly. Different colors, different materials, and so on. Last thing, material that we're going to be tying in is uh, CDC. And we're going to be making a... We're going to tie this in from the front to the back. We're going to make a CDC split thread CDC uh, so you take the CDC 
put that in the make sure the thread is flat split the thread I'll also put a link into this technique put that in there I'm going to take a little bit more so you need to you need quite a bit of CDC in this fly Go spin that. And wrap that around the hook towards the back. Now you can see it creates a nice bushy finish. Now we're gonna bend that over the front part of the foam. Bend that over, trap that in front of the wing. Right there. The last bit, your indicator. So it's a white piece of foam. Cut that. Put it on top of the head. And trap that right there as well. And then you just tie the fly off. A few finishes through there. And that's it. I'll do another whip finish just to secure that. You don't need to use varnish or anything like that. If you do a proper whip finish, you don't need to add any form of varnish or glue. Cut that thread off. You can cut the legs, right length, make sure those legs are in the right position, and the white foam, cut that on top. That's your indicator, and you'll be surprised how far you see that indicator on the water. And that is the foam wing hopper. The leg is not playing along nicely. There we go. There's the foam wing hopper. Very successful fly. For those who want to fish terrestrials, tie these and try them out. Uh, please follow us, follow the channel, like the video and keep an eye out for more of these.